My name is McCabe Marshall with MLM Publishing, and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video we shoot every single week for our readers and viewers from all over the world, so thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoyed this message, I encourage you to share it with your family, friends, loved ones, and coworkers. You can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it into your email and also onto Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all our latest videos, and the channel is just my name, McCade Marshall. You can also subscribe to receive Word of the Week every Sunday evening in your email inbox by going to mccademarshall.com, clicking on that Word of the Week tab on the left, filling out the form there, and we would be more than happy to add you to our emailing list. So make sure to check all that out at the end of this message. All right, well, the Word of the Week for this week is the Peace of God. This may sound a little bit disturbing, but you have an enemy. You have someone who does not like you, and he is the devil. The devil doesn't like you because you are one of God's children. The devil wants to rob you, cheat you, and take your peace. He will do whatever he can to try and get you off course. The good news is you have a defender. Your defender is God, and he has complete power over the devil. One way we defeat the devil is by carrying the peace of God. The devil is the opposite of peace. The devil wants chaos so he can control you. The Apostle Paul encourages the early church when he says in Romans 16, 19 through 20, Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I rejoice because of you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. When you keep your peace, you keep your mind clear. You keep your emotions in check. This doesn't mean we never have feelings that are legitimate, but it does mean we learn to respond to life from God's perspective. It means we choose to operate out of the Spirit of God and not out of our flesh nature. Philippians 4, verses 6 through 8 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, Whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The way to keep the peace of God is by praying and praying a lot. Prayer is what lifts heavy burdens up supernaturally. Prayer is a powerful tool for the life of every believer. When you pray more, you worry less. You find a person that prays much, and you will find a person that carries the peace of God. What you allow your mind to meditate on is what is going to come out of you throughout the day. This is why it is so important we are continually filling our minds with the scriptures from the Bible and humming along to worship songs throughout the day. If not, the devil will be more than happy to offer you some alternative thoughts that are anything but peaceful. The mind and the heart dictate the direction that your life will go. They dictate how you show love towards others. We need the peace of God guarding our mind, will, and emotions. Your mind is like a ship. On that ship, there is all sorts of precious cargo. If water gets on the inside of the ship, your ship is going to begin to sink. Like a ship that needs to be guarded from water in order to stay afloat, 
you must guard your mind or else it is going to begin to sink. The devil is constantly trying to poke holes in your boat. He wants to get inside your head. The good news is you have authority through Jesus Christ to block him out. The scriptures say in 2 Timothy 1 verses 6 through 7, Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. Anytime you are dealing with fear, you are dealing with a spirit that is not of God. Today, I believe God wants to drive out that fear with his peace. He wants to flood your mind and soul with his great power and infinite love. The peace of God is what tramples the devil in his power of darkness. The devil hates peace. He hates life and joy that comes from the Holy Spirit. If you are struggling with your thoughts today, I encourage you to redirect your attention upward. Put God's Word out in front of you. Think about the goodness of God. Look around at the beauty of creation around you and thank God for being such a marvelous creator of everything you see. You are the apple of God's eye. You are at the center of His heart. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 3 says, The Lord will hold you in his hand for all to see, a splendid crown in the hand of God. Through Christ you are in the royal priesthood. You carry the peace of God with you everywhere you go. You don't have the peace of God just when you're at church. You can carry the peace of God to the grocery store, to the ball game, to work, to the gym, and anywhere else you may go. You are the temple of the living God. God. Jesus chose you to house the Holy Spirit. He chose you to be a vessel of honor. The next time you receive a disturbing report or bad news, hold on to your peace. Make your immediate response prayer. You were never meant to go through life alone. You aren't alone. You have God with you at all times. He will never leave you nor forsake you. As you abide in him, his peace is going to surpass anything this world brings your way. You have all authority over fear. You can rise above and begin to operate in faith through the Spirit of Christ living in you. Today, stir up the gift of God in you. Stir up the fire of God that is deep in the wells of your soul. As you learn to draw water from the Spirit of God that is dwelling inside, you are going to see the supernatural power of God's kingdom burst forth. His light will bring the peace of God into each situation you, so you can handle it the way he intended you to handle it. Well, I just want to pray over you really quick that you would get this message deep into your spirit about the peace of God. So wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head and close your eyes and listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, Thank you so much for everyone who is listening and watching right now, Father. I pray right now your Holy Spirit would flood our minds, wills, and emotions. Cause the peace of God that surpasses all understanding to rise up within us. We are more than conquerors through Christ's Spirit living in us. We have what it takes. We are full of can-do power. We are not alone. We praise you today for being the Good Shepherd. We thank you that nothing is beyond your reach. You are in full control. I pray a fresh wind of anointing, a fresh wind of favor and healing would sweep over our lives. Encourage our hearts and reaffirm us with your great love. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, I want to tell you the first step to experiencing more of God's goodness and love in your life is by first accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus tells us in John 14, 6 that he is the way, the truth, and the life, that no one can come to the Father except through him. Jesus came to the earth some 2,000 years ago and he died on the cross for the sins of the world. He did this so that anyone who comes to him can be forgiven of all their sins, past, present, and future. He died on the cross and rose from the grave so that we wouldn't have to spend eternity in hell, but we could be with God in heaven forever at, for eternity after this life. 
So if you have never received the free gift of Christ's eternal salvation, would you just say this prayer with me and invite Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life? Wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. If you just said that prayer, the Bible says that you have been spiritually born again and that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven. So welcome to the family of God. The next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church and Christian community so you can learn more about God and be encouraged by other believers in the faith. Also, be water baptized as a public profession of your faith in Christ and read the Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. Reading the Bible is how we learn more about God and what He says, and it helps us to grow stronger in our faith. Also, pray every day. Prayer is simply talking to God like you would your very best friend. You can talk to God anytime, day or night. He is always available to you. The scriptures say to cast your cares upon the Lord because He loves you, He cares for you, and He wants to be involved in every single aspect of your life. So read your Bible, pray every day, and make sure to tell someone you know that you gave your life to Christ. You can tell a friend, a family member, someone at work or school, or maybe a pastor or a preacher. Make sure to tell someone you know that is a Christian that you gave your life to Christ so that they can encourage you in your faith. We also have a website with a lot of great resources that can help you out as well. And the website is just my name, McCabeMarshall.com. On McCabeMarshall.com, you can watch other Word of the Week videos just like this one. If you will click on that Word of the Week tab on the left, you can scroll through over 250 different Word of the Week videos that we have done in the past. These videos are great teaching videos that you can watch, rewatch, and share. You can watch them with a spouse, a friend, a coworker, or a loved one. Also, I'm a writer, and here at MLM Publishing, we mail out seasonal newsletters every three months to readers from all over the world. If you aren't on our mailing list, would you click on that newsletters tab there on the left and fill out the form? We would be so happy to start mailing you a gospel newsletter every three months. And I've authored a few books that you can order on the website as well. My latest book is called Why I Stand with Israel. In Why I Stand with Israel, I share seven reasons to support the modern Jewish state of Israel. Another book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. Finding Your Keys is about discovering the authority you have as a believer. In this book, you will discover 12 different keys, which are spiritual truths that will unlock God's supernatural power to go to work in your life as you learn to apply them. Another book I wrote is called Breathe. Breathe is all about God breathing new life into your God-given dreams. At the end of each chapter of Breathe, there are prayers from the scriptures you can pray over yourself and over your loved ones. And the very first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day devotional that will help you learn how to spend time with God every day on a consistent basis. If you don't have Why I Stand with Israel, Finding Your Keys, Breathe, or Tasting the Goodness of God, I encourage you to order those books on McCadeMarshall.com, and I would be more than happy to sign those books and ship them to you. All right, well, in closing, I would like to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are filled with the peace of God. God is enlightening your understanding of the scriptures. You are being drawn to the wells of God's word. 
For every anxious thought, God is filling your mind with his abundant peace. He is overwhelming you with his loving presence. You have everything you need to keep moving forward. You are not weak. In Christ, you are a warrior. You are on the offense. You are taking back what the enemy has stolen. You are rising higher and going to new levels of success. With the Lord's help, there is nothing you cannot achieve. In Jesus' name. We love you so much here at MLM Publishing, and we are praying for you every single day. God bless you. Thank you.